Worst dad jokes of all time. Go. What do you call a really fat psychic? What? Bruh. The fortune teller. <laughs> The man who invented Velcro died. Rip. <laughs> a polar bear walks into a bar and says to a bartender, I'll have a rum and coke. The bartender says, what's with the paws? He says, I was born with them. <laughs> Couldn't get it out. I tripped over my wife's bra. It was a booby trap. <laughs> You can't deliver it like that, that's unfair. <laughs> Why does the president take so long to say each sentence? Why? He's just biding his time. <laughs> My friend fell in the river in Egypt last week. He swears by it, but he's in denial. Hey, Dad. Yeah? Well, you're probably gonna get a note sent home from school. Why? What happened? Well... I was standing in line to get my food in the cafeteria and I see a big bowl of apples. And there's a note in front of the apples that said, only take one, God is watching. So I go farther down the line and I see a big bowl of cookies. And I decided to write my own note. And it said, take all you want, God's watching the apples. You have three wishes, but I warn you, for anything you wish for, your husband gets it a hundred times over. Okay, fine by me. What's your first wish? I want to be extremely beautiful. You do understand what you're asking. This means your husband will become so handsome that all the women will fall in love with him. I'm not interested. Give it to me as it is. Okay. And what is your second wish? I want to have 10 million dollars. Okay, but I have to remind you that in this way your husband will receive a billion dollars. It's better this way, and we have a joint account. Okay. Now your account is full of money. What is your third wish? I want to have a teeny tiny heart attack. <coughs> Okay, class, take a seat. I'm gonna be giving your test back. Yo, how do you think you did on the test? So well, bro. There's no way I got a low score. Simon, you got a zero. What? This man is this unintelligent. Man got a zero. There's no He's way he got a Wait, low hold score. Wait, on. It says here I answered everything correctly. Yes, that's true, but you didn't write your full name at the top. I wrote my first name. Isn't that enough? Simon, I mean, if you don't write your full name at the top, how am I gonna know whose test it is? You already know it was me anyway. If you didn't, you wouldn't have given me the test to begin with. Uh, that's not true. Uh, oh, really? Who else is named Simon in this class? Uh. Him! Oh, word. That doesn't count. Doug forgets his name all the time. Who's Doug? Simon, I'm not gonna repeat the rules. You should have written your full name at the top. It's simple. Fine, then let me redo it so you can give me full credit. Sorry, but I don't do retakes in my class. Let me redo it now! What did you do? The teacher gave me a zero on the test because I only wrote my first name. Look. What is this, the UK? You're like the only Simon here! Exactly! What has five toes but isn't your foot? My foot? <laughs> <laughs> What do you call an old snowman? A glass of water. <laughs> Which one is faster, hot or cold? Hot, because you can catch a cold. <laughs> you think bugs are born knowing they can climb up walls? Or they're one day they're just like, <laughs> Yo! Oh, Simon, dog. Bro, Simon, peep, check it peep out. this. Check it this. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Ain't no hands, bro. <laughs> Who touched the thermostat? I don't know. If no one snitches, I guess y'all gonna get some stitches. Okay, I'll snitch. Mom, Dad's cheating on you with our neighbor. Oh, great heavens! <laughs> 911, what is your emergency? Um, I'm in a little sticky situation. Okay, sir, what's the problem? Well, um, I don't know how to say this, but I'm stuck in the dryer. How'd you get stuck in the dryer? Um, I'd rather not say. Where are you, stepbrother? Oh, God, she's back. O okay, sir, what's going on? Oh, my God, she's setting up a camera. Oh, no, my stepbrother's stuck in the dryer. What am I gonna do? Oh, my God. Okay, sir, I'm gonna need you to calm down, okay? <laughs> okay. Stepbrother, where are you? <laughs> Did you just hear that? She has a whip. What the f I just met her okay, today. Okay, sir, I'm going to need you to listen to me very carefully, okay? When she gets close to you, I'm going to need you to fart directly right in her eye. This should disorient her for just a few seconds for you to get out, okay? Oh, God, she's here. Just do what I told you, okay? Oh, stepbrother. <laughs> oh, God, I just shit myself. What the f 
fuck? I told you to fart. I know, I'm sorry. I'm gonna say a word, and you're gonna tell me the first thing that pops up into your head. Woman. Suffrage. Sandwich. Woman. Voting rights. Not for them. <laughs> Cleaning. For them. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What would you do if I leave you? I would go back with my ex. Huh? It's over. You trying to go on a date? No, go back with your ex. I'm about to make her feel real dumb. You're my ex, dummy. <laughs> Dang, my Wi-Fi went out. What am I gonna do now? I guess I could go outside. Oh, what are, are those trees? Oh, look at the bird. Oh, nature. It's just so disgusting. I'm going back inside. 911, what's your emergency? My dad bought me a clown because I am afraid to sleep in my room alone. Why don't you want to sleep alone? Because it's my grandma's room and something always knocking on the window. Where is dad now? Well, he and mom are in their room plunging the toilet. Plunging the toilet? Okay, where is grandma then? Well, she's in a protein shake bottle. Protein shake bottle? I don't understand. Well, when she passed, they poured her into a bottle and put it in my room. You mean her ashes in an urn inside your room? Ah, uh, what's an urn? Never mind, let me tell you something, hun. When I was a little girl, my mother put a coffin in my room so I could fight off the creepy clown. Do you want to learn how to fight off your clown? Okay, sure. Just go up to the clown and say I am not afraid I will punch you. Nah, I'm gonna go into mom and dad's room. Get out and shut the damn door. Mom and dad are plunging the toilet. Baby. What? If your mom and I were in jail at the same time, who would you bail out? Baby, that's so easy. Who? My mom. Baby! What? Not me? What am I gonna hear if I bail you out first, babe, huh? What do oh, you mean? what took you so long to bail me out, babe? It should have been sooner. It was so cold in there and miserable. No. And then when we get home, oh my gosh, babe, you didn't do the dishes while I was in jail. You didn't clean up the floors while I was in jail. Can you clean up the whole house for me while I relax on the couch? That's not true. I at wouldn't least, say that. At least for my mom, she'd be thankful that she got I got her out. And then she would cook me a home cooked meal. She would do the dishes. She would clean the house and let me relax for once. Maybe it's a good thing that you're in jail. You know what they say about jail? It builds character. Maybe you'll, maybe you'll come out better than you went in. And plus, why are you in jail anyways? Didn't you? What, what'd you do? What'd you do? You screw up? Huh? You had none of the road rage moments? Huh? Is that why you're in jail? So you'd rather bail out your mom than bail out your wife? It'll teach you a lesson. Maybe it'll build character and you become a better person one day. You're so messed up. You'll get out up. eventually. And plus, your cheap ass is not going to pay me back for bail. Mom will. <laughs> Nothing beats a mother's love. So I used to know this girl who would constantly say things like, Guys, sorry, I'm so ugly. I just ruined the whole group photo, I'm sorry. And then everyone would automatically comfort her and be like, No, you're beautiful. You shine. And then she would be like, No, but thank you. And she would do the same thing over and over again, trying to get everyone's attention. So eventually, I got tired. So the next time she came to me saying, I'm so ugly, I was like, <laughs> You know what? You are. She was like, What'd you say? And I was like, Bitch. If you think you're ugly, I can crop you out of the photo. The fuck you want me to tell you? I'm not the one who made you look like a woolly mammoth. So you want to marry my daughter? Yes, sir. Do you love her? Yes. Does she love you? Yes. Then congratulations, you're married. So, I'm here to ask for your daughter. I know. Are you ready? Ready? For, for what? For your ultimate test. If you answer all of these questions correctly, you will get my daughter. But nobody told me anything about Do it. Do you have a university degree? Yes. Are you rich? Yes. Is your father rich? Yes. Is he gonna be my friend and buy me a new car every year? I will tell him. Do you wanna have kids? What? With you? I'm sorry. Go on. Do you listen to Arabic music? Yes. Do you agree to play Arabic music in the wedding? Yes. Mm -hmm. I think we're done. Oh, thank God! Did I pass? You already passed when you said you were rich. Oh, there's one question left. Oh, God, what is it? Are you a doctor? No. Get your Sammy! My guy, what do you want? Why did the principal call me and tell me you got into a fight at school? Well, hold on, before you get angry, I just want to let you know that he hit me first, so I had a right to. I don't want to hear excuses. You shouldn't be getting into fights at all. I didn't ask him to hit me. He just messed around and found out. Well, you want to know what I found out? What? That you're not getting your phone for three months, no PlayStation, and you're grounded. What, mom? Nope. I don't want to hear it. I didn't raise a caveman. Simon! Whoa, never heard dad do that before. What do you want? Why did the principal call me and tell me you got into a fight at school? All right, I know that you're mad, but I just want to let you know that he hit me first, okay? Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Did you win? 
Yeah. Yeah, that's my boy. Did you hit him with the one-two like I taught you? No, but get this. I got him in a headlock, and then I did the- Why are you condoning this behavior? He could have seriously hurt somebody! Yeah, or he could have gotten seriously hurt himself. If you ask me, the other kid messed around and found out. Bye! Excuse me! Hey, class, take your seats. Uh, before I begin, how was everyone's weekend? Oh, my weekend was pretty- uh, I had the worst weekend ever! Oh, my lord. Didn't even why, get to why speak. Why not? Like, all the time. Do all the time. Anymore, why why is no, you don't it? understand. My life is literally the worst. Well, I'm sure everyone wants to hear this. No, we don't. You want to explain why, Jalissa? For starters, my dad got me a Porsche instead of a Bugatti. Then my mom said we were going to Cancun for the summer when I wanted to go to Italy. Then they lowered my allowance to 500 instead of 1,000. Girl, your allowance is 500 a week? What's wrong with you? Um, I'm basically a poor person, duh. You live in a mansion and you have a Porsche. How are you poor? Don't even talk to me. I shouldn't have to speak to a poor person like you. So I guess that makes two of us, right? Yo, oh, what the? I've been getting so many complaints about this. It's honestly so exhausting. Listen, I just want to say, oh, I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to Jalissa. What? Yeah, for bullying people for not being as rich as you, I'm suspending you for a week. But you can't do that. My dad will sue you. Guess what? What? I don't care.